Can Agri become uh, an entrepreneur? Everyone. Everyone? Uh, I don't think so. Practically speaking, probably everyone could be if somebody, he or she, uh, tries to, to, to make herself or himself be a good entrepreneur. Um, so because there is a debate or there is a very long discussion, uh, an entrepreneur or a leader should, should be a born to be leader or, or somebody can, can, can train himself or herself to be a, to be a leader or entrepreneur. And the answer is, this is why we have good business schools, this is why we have good business training, because a lot of elements of leadership you can learn. Obviously it's not easy, because we have different personalities, uh, some are extroverted, it's better in sales, some are introverted, it's better if it comes with emotions and more like empathy, but there are a lot of tools, techniques, elements of leadership you can learn. Now, what is the best way to learn to do this? Right? So you set up a company, you make a lot of mistakes, and then you fix the mistakes, and next time you try to do other mistakes. And it's an endless story. So even I myself, after I become more than 20 years in this field, I do mistakes in the daily basis. Luckily, my mistakes are different than 5 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I myself, I don't consider myself as a born to be leader, but I learned a lot. I know how to treat people, how to treat clients, how to treat investors, how to put things together. I made a lot of mistakes and I'm kind of okay now, but it's a never-ending story. And there is one, there are few important elements what an entrepreneur should keep in mind. So everyone can be an entrepreneur, but it's not for everyone. Because you have to be, you have to take risk. If your risk tolerance is very low, probably a big multinational company, a bank, a state administration fits you better, right? Because it gives you safety, security. You will have your salary at the end of the month, and if, if whatever happens, right? Hmm. I think uh, we are we learn the last month uh, from mistake, our uh, mistake. Yeah, sure. In it's relevant for this this. Be able to learn from your own mistake, it's relevant for whatever job you have. Right? In entrepreneurship, it's a must because if you are the entrepreneur, every success or every mistake of your company is your mistake or at least your responsibility. So you don't have a chance to go and say that um, somebody else was responsible for that. You hire the people, right? you train the people, you talk to the clients, you are the leader. If something is wrong, sorry to say, but it's your mistake, right? So it's very, very, very direct. If you can take this direct feedbacks from life, then it can be, can, be a good, can be good for you. If you need that kind of safety when you are in a big organization, you have your own input and output and you are responsible only in between, probably it's better for you to work for a bank, for example, or a big multinational company. In entrepreneurship, you are in charge of everything, if you are an entrepreneur. Or if you join a startup in an early stage, it's the same situation. You are in charge of a little bit of everything. After the company grows to a certain stage, then you can you know, focus and, uh, and allocate tasks differently. Because you know that's, that's the nature of the company. So you start somewhere in a very early stage, in an idea, and you develop it further. And for a certain level, everyone is involved in everything. And after that, in a certain period, you can, you can, you know, uh, have help people to specialize.